Good morning, sir. Good morning, everyone. So we will start the periodic table where we have left. Uh, we just started the periodic table and then I think I did about some six points. One of the six points. So we'll go ahead. So it will be like a notes. That much I can tell you. So later we'll solve the problems. It's not that easy. It's not that easy. It's not that easy. It's not that easy. It's not Next, we have done modern periodic law. Columns, rows, and a chip. Then I told you that, uh, that they are divided into S block. The periodic table it was divided into s block elements elements there are four blocks are there s block elements s block elements and a first group first group and second group first and second group elements ne s block elements ka chapter on matter so they are s block elements there one a inka correct chapter one a and two a one a and two a these are called s block elements now they have general electronic configuration. Electronic configuration NS one to two. Either at the first block one A key, which is see, this is outer shell configuration under outer shell configuration. Outer shell configuration which is NS1 untundi. Allage 2A ki outer shell configuration. Outer shell configuration. 2A ki outer shell configuration NS2 untundi. So these are the things which you have to remember. These S block elements include alkali and alkaline earth metals. Earth metals. Ante one A which is alkali metals under two A which is alkaline earth metals under. If the one A, two A until the first and second groups are and after that uh, third, fourth ala numbering each other. No? So, but it's okay. One A, two A, and it's not an issue. <coughs> Clear, Amma? In the work. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Now let's move on. Now the second one. P block elements. Next. P block elements. P block elements. P block elements and they have general electronic configuration. Idi matra mind la undali. Nenu electronic configuration, I will give you another 
talk about that. And now, sir, man, already chosen now electron configuration uh, sometime in December. So I hope you remember those things. Adi gurtundi meko anu koni nenu. I'm going ahead on matter. So later we will see. So they are NS general electron configuration NS two and P six. Yan ante anti last shell number last shell number that is yan. Okay na that is yan. So P block elements general electron configuration configuration which is NS two NP one to six on tonde. So they include from third a to seventh a including zero group elements zero group elements ante inert gases anamata zero group elements zero group elements ante inert gases Inert gases. My name is not a brain map. It's just no. I am giving you the brain map. So, in the lagi structure, prakara in lagi gurtunch kundi meko subject chala easy apo thende. Just break break points lagi choose kundi ne. Okay. Now that is. P block elements, yes, P, D, F, four blocks. Now, this is the second one. P block elements, general electron configuration, which is NS two, NP one to six. On Tundi, third A to seventh A, including zero group elements. Zero group elements are the inert gases. One by one, we will see what are what. What is what? Now, clear this one. Yes, sir. Good. Now, the third one is D block elements. What are D block elements? So, D block elements ki general electronic configuration. General electronic configuration. general electronic configuration of the d block elements me teesukunte n minus 1 d d 1 to 10 and ns 1 to 2 1 to 2 these are called general configuration general electronic configuration where n is the shell number last Shell number. Why this last shell number? Ne valency shell under valency shell. Last shell number ne valency shell and gorabe sir. What is last shell? Ida atom ane kundi. Ila orbitals under dan chuttu. Whichever is the last orbital where electrons are filling, that is called last shell. ओके ना लास्ट ऑर्बिट हैविंग इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दाने लास्ट शेल ने पिलस तो रु डी ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स लो लास्ट शेल लो लास्ट बट वन शेल लो रिंडू लक्कल ओपस से ये लास्ट बट वन ये देते होंगे दिन लास्ट शेल यन नेट लास्ट शेल यन माइनस वन नेट लास्ट बट वन आना वाटा दिस लास्ट बट वन इस कॉल्ड पेन अल्टीमेट श pen alti mate shell n minus 1 ni penultimate shell ani n ni ultimate shell ani kuda pilustaru that is last but one shell sir మీకు ఈ టెర్మినాలజీ మీకు అండర్స్టాండ్ అవ్వాలి దిస్ టెర్మినాలజీ యు హావ్ టు గెయిన్ 
because when once you enter into that uh, classes of plus 1 and uh, plus 2 all of a sudden when you listen to this terminology meek okka sari ganaka bust ayipothundi so once you know this terminology well before okay if they say penultimate shell i used to get confused at that time intra babu id anukune vandi so that feeling will go off when <coughs> you will listen to this terminology once before once for all later meek okka sari malli expose ayinappudu this one now it will be very much new to you but once you listen to this one more time you will not feel that this is new to you that's what i want so you will excel in your studies very fast clear this one yes sir okay next one so the the next one we have the i'll clear this so it's still d block elements d block elements d block elements are there this is a very big study the d block elements uh, there are four series there are four series there are actually four series in the d block elements what are the series they are 3d series 4d series and 5d series okay the 3d series will be from scandium z atomic number 21 to zinc atomic number 30 zinc atomic number 30 that is z z is equal to z and atomic number z is 30 okay now the 4d series is from yttrium z is equal to 39 atomic number 39 to cadmium z is equal to 48 cadmium z is equal to 48 and now 5d series ante lanthanum nunchi lanthanum z is equal to 57 to mercury hg antaru mercury z is equal to 80 idi as it is gurtunchukovalamma what i recommend is as it is you have to remember now the series okay ikkada rasanu these series are present are present respectively in the respectively in the fourth fifth and sixth periods and sixth periods with 10 elements with 10 elements each so this is the another point which you have to remember clear once clear please let me know clear sir very good now we have the fourth one is 
f block elements f block elements so period table ni four blocks ga divide chesaru s p d f blocks ga we have f block elements deeni kuda general electronic configuration untundi deeni kuda general electronic configuration untundi which is n minus 1 n minus 2 f 1 to 14 n minus 1 d Zero or one, n s two. Okay, ma. And there are two series. These are two series. Two series are there in a block elements. they are called actinides and lanthanides okay so the first one is called lanthanides 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 vachesi vaatini 4f series ani kuda pilustaru 4f series they are also called lanthanides from cerium they are from cerium z is equal to 58 to lutetium l u lutetium z is equal to 71 next actinides next vachhe entante actinides actinides there are 5f series anamata 5f series actinides ante 5f series lanthanides ante 4f series so actinides 5f series vachesi it is from thorium z is equal to 90 L Laurentium Z is equal to one or three. Lanthanides they have some other name. What we call them? They are called rare earths. रेडियो they are synthetic as well as radioactive clear ama enta varaku clear yes yes now the fifth, another point in the work with the four blocks man complete chesam next we will talk about eighth group or zero group eighth a and h or zero group zero group elements what are this zero group elements zero group elements ante noble gases 
అని పిలుస్తారు నోబుల్ గ్యాసెస్ అంటే దే విల్ నాట్ రియాక్ట్ ఈజిలీ దే విల్ నాట్ రియాక్ట్ ఈజిలీ దే ఆర్ ఇన్నట్ ఇన్నట్ గ్యాసెస్ దే విల్ నాట్ రియాక్ట్ ఈజిలీ they will not react easily however they participate in some reactions reactions with fluorine and oxygen okay na idi gurtunchukovali however they participate in some reactions with fluorine and oxygen under some conditions okay under some conditions there can be some extreme conditions also under some conditions they participate with fluorine and oxygen they have general configuration ns2 np6 this is general electronic configuration general electronic configuration వచ్చేసి ns2 np6 untundi okay amma now we have another thing there i just told you in they are chemically inert idi kuda vale we can make a point idi kuda ila kuda adugutaru they are they are chemically inert gases ఇన్నర్ట్నెస్ ఆఫ్ నోబుల్ గ్యాసెస్ ఈస్ attributed attributed to octet configuration what is octet configuration existence of eight electrons in the outermost shell octet configuration ante existence of existence of eight electrons in the outermost shell outermost shell so if the eight electrons are present eight electrons are present in outer shell ఔటర్ షెల్ లో ఎయిట్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ ఉంటే దాన్ని ఆక్టేట్ అంటారు క్లియర్ సో ఆక్టెట్ కాన్ఫిగరేషన్ అంటే ఎన్ఎస్ టూ ఎన్పి సిక్స్ సో దిస్ ఇస్ కాల్డ్ ఆక్టెట్ కాన్ఫిగరేషన్ ఎగ్జిస్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ఎయిట్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ ఇన్ దఫ్టర్ ఆక్టెట్ కాన్ఫిగరేషన్ ఈస్ రెస్పాన్సిబుల్ ఫర్ ద ఇనెట్నెస్ ఓకే నౌ the inert gases inert gases exist as mono atomic mono atomic gases mono atomic ante they will exist as independent atoms 
existence existence as independent atoms independent atoms ante deento avi kalavakunda single atom ga untai danni mono atomic gases ani pilustaru for example helium tisna unte adhe mono atomic gas single atom e untundi oxygen tisukunte two atoms untai o2 nitrogen tisukunte two atoms untai anamata so they are diatomic okay na so they are nitrogen oxygen they are diatomic generally glass gas set laga undai chlorine cl2 diatomic these are all diatomic diatomic but monoatomic anedi very specific anamata so avi vache inert gases undai helium kaani neon kaani argon kaani these are all zero group anamata so for example these are all zero group they exist as monoatomic gases clear yes sir good uh, anyway i will post the video back to you all once again the next one next one what we see is representative elements representative elements so questions ela padtay ante what are representative elements anu padtay vaatini or main group elements anu kuda pilustaru main group elements representative elements or main group elements they have outer shell partially filled partially filled they are outer shell partially filled all the all the yes and p block elements all the s and p block elements except except zero group elements except zero group elements except zero group elements are representative elements are representative elements are representative elements general electronic configuration general electronic configuration ns 1 to 2 np 1 to 5 np 0 to 5 i can give np 0 to 5 ns 1 to 2 np 0 to 5 they are chemically active they are chemically active they are chemically active clear yes sir next one next point transition transition elements
or all metals. So transition elements are there. They are generally D block elements. So transition elements, elements are all metals. They are actually D block, D block elements. Okay, na? They are hard. They are hard with high melting. With high melting and boiling points. Boiling points. E points in Chimara question A direction in China are also. Okay. They are hard and very high melting and boiling points. And high densities also. High densities also. They are good conductors. They are good conductors of conductors of heat and electricity they are good conductors of heat and electricity next one except hg mercury they are all solids. Solids. Mercury is also known as liquid metal. Liquid metal. Liquid metal and pilsaro, mercury. Because it is a liquid at room temperature itself. Mercury is liquid at room temperature. Mercury and Padarasam. So Mercury is a liquid at room temperature. Once written, please let me know. Today's last point, I will tell. Can I clear? Yes, sir. No. Transition metals. Metals. Have. Characteristic. Characteristic properties like variable oxidation states. In oxygen states, and I will explain just now variable oxidation states, oxidation states, colored salts. Colored salts in solution. Next one, paramagnetism. 
para magnetism catalytic activity catalytic catalytic activity formation of alloys formation of alloys these are the different properties of transition metals so that is d block elements next most important point zinc cadmium mercury are not considered or not considered as considered as transition elements transition elements as they do not contain they don't have unpaired electron unpaired electrons that is ns sorry n minus 1 d 10 ns2 type configuration untundi no unpaired electron minus 1 d ns2 type configuration so they don't have unpaired electron so unpaired electrons unna vaatini transition metals anu pilustaru this where will stop okay this where will stop tomorrow will continue further up to now got 20 points i have explained as per the book clear clear everyone in the note just now anyway you will receive the video in few minutes anyway ne niche suggestion entante you go back to the first video and second video and then have a look at it okay of periodic table and in addition to that i am posting some videos meeru chusaro ledo i am posting some other videos on matrices anamata so that matrix videos please watch ha uh, easy ga untundi it's not the difficult it is very very easy i have posted the matrices video please try to write the notes nenu cheptan explain chestan matrices kuda but please try to watch those videos and write the notes okay matrices easy ga ne untundi please watch that videos and then have an idea about the matrices well versed be well versed in matrices so that mana parallel trigonometry kuda cheyachu just go through the matrices clear am i clear yes sir okay right will close today noted Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Bye. Bye. See you all. Then, under school, can I go? See you all. Tomorrow we'll meet.